Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are planting up the giant black square containers in front of our cut flower garden. Things are just starting to kind of roll out here. It's really fun. I still have quite a bit of planting to do, but it'll be fun to see some color go in these containers today. I am gonna have to be a little bit careful though because Erin just seeded this area with grass seed. So we will soon have a grass pathway right here, which will look really nice, but that means we can't walk right here. That also means I'm gonna probably have to consider something different in terms of containers going forward because we have very hard water. And eventually, I mean, there's sprinklers right here. They're going to leave water deposits all over on these containers. So anyway, we're kind of looking at different options. I love these up here though. I love the shape. I love the size. They create such a statement right here. I mean, it just signifies the opening of this garden, which I love. And I love the obelisks in here too, which they probably need to be straightened just a little bit. But I've had those in here for a couple of years and I think that they're just so pretty. I'm not gonna even grow a vine on them this year. I just use them for just how pretty they are. The container on this other side though got plugged last year and it kinda like the weight of it bent the container. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see. Well, yeah, we can see it kinda right there. See how it kinda bows out instead of being nice and flat. Eh, container seems fine though. I mean, it just looks a little weird from certain angles. I did already fill these with fresh potting soil. The reservoir is not this big. It's actually about this big. So this container, this is from Crescent Garden. We've had them for ages. Uh, and it's like kind of just air down here, double walled, and then the reservoir comes to here. So it really doesn't take as much soil as it looks like it does. I do still need to put our slow release plant food in before we plant, but look at these beautiful things. I am looking forward to this mix of color right here. So for our centerpiece, I'm going to use a plain the blue salvia. In fact, I'm going to plant it inside the obelisk, which is gonna be perfect, you guys because these, they get big, like two to four feet tall, a couple feet wide, and we get tremendously strong winds out here, and these are 100% exposed. I mean, there's not much going on around them in terms of wind block. Well, except for these houses, which you may be able to hear they're building the house right now. But won't this work perfect as a plant support? So if we plant that in the middle, it'll just cage the salvia. You know, the blooms will come out the sides, but it'll support the weight of the stems because these can tend to be a little bit brittle in high winds. I've had them snap before. So anyway, it's still one of my favorite annuals. I absolutely love the blooms and how much they perform during the season, but it's kind of the perfect place to put it. Then as our second layer down, I'm using this Gara called Stratosphere White. Uh, which is a beautiful, I mean, just very wispy, magical looking plant right here. I don't know what zone this one is. I'm gonna have to look that one up. Some garas are perennial in our area. I'm not sure about this one, but wouldn't that be awesome? So these will just fill in below our salvia and then these will fill in down below and spill over the sides. So we've got Supertunia mini Vista Indigo, Supertunia Bermuda Beach, isn't that a beautiful combination? We've got a Sweet Caroline Lime, Sweet Potato Vine, We've got a Violet Night Lobularia. These get enormous. And right here, a Sparkling Amethyst Superbina. Also, you may notice toward the back here that our flower shed has been painted. It's looking so beautiful. I absolutely love it. The roof is not done, so cedar shakes are going on. The back side is about 75% done. So hopefully here soon, that will be buttoned up. The chandelier has been hung inside, the lights and plugins, all of that stuff is done. So exciting. When we get it all put together and set up, I will give you guys a tour. It should be fairly soon. So let's get these planted and we'll take a look. just went off they're set to go off every I think three hours for a couple of minutes but you can see what it does to the front of the container just gets it nice and wet this is the north side of the container so it does take it the longest to dry off since it's not in the sun either way this is going to be a phenomenal blend of plants it already is I just absolutely love it so you can see the salvia there in the center 
Oh, that's gonna just be so perfect. And then you can see we've got just a very light breeze, but the gar looks really pretty, the movement. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, these are just, the, I think the common name is whirling butterflies, right? Which is such a great description of that flower. So right in the front, we started with the Sweetheart Lime, and then I kind of did a pattern. I did the Indigo and then Bermuda Beach. Then I did something different, like the Lobularia, and then the Indigo, Bermuda Beach again, and then the other different flower, which is a Sparkling Amethyst and then indigo and Bermuda Beach. And there's the other one. This section out here in the cut flower garden, we've barely planted. We've got big plans for this week, hopefully to get it done, but the tomatoes are in, but nothing else. It's just kind of a nice tilled up space at the moment. So I actually have to wait to run drip to this one because we'll be bringing the drip tube right behind. Like this one, you can see the drip tube comes over here. And in fact, I've got drip tubing sitting here. So I'm just gonna weave this in and around the plant so that it will run whenever this section right here runs. I did hand water these in today with the hose, so everything has been settled. And that's pretty much it for these containers, except for just, you know, the regular maintenance, the spraying with the BT or Captain Jacks and weekly fertilizing. So before we leave this space, I'm gonna run you back here just really quick to show you what's going on. Okay, real quick, I got distracted. Oh, we've got a nice looking strawberry right here. This is one of the seascapes mm, all warm from the sun too mm, that's good okay so you can see it right there we did go with white which i really wanted because i like white sheds i think they're just really peaceful looking but it also marries very well with the other structures that we have now i don't have window hardware yet <laughs> you can see that they're all being held shut by clamps and i need to also pick out some carriage lights i still haven't found exactly what i want when i do pick those out I'll pick out a different doorknob that matches bounce back here shakes are going on very exciting I'm not sure how good of a view I can give you of the shakes but there you go <laughs> that's about it got the fancy clamps to keep them <laughs> shut until we get the hardware in still need to do some cleanup in here but it's coming along, you guys. So the window hardware is a type that you crank and it will uh, allow the window to go as far as you want it to go and then it will hold it firm. Uh, you know, so if we have breeze, it won't be swinging at all, but all of the windows will have that. So we'll have the ability to have them completely open if we want or partially open or, you know, whatever. I think that's gonna be so, so nice. Oh my goodness. It feels so solid in here and it's pretty echoey. We're gonna need to get some rugs and stuff in here, but I did pick up a couple, well, I ordered a couple of fairly inexpensive fans for in here because this is not air conditioned. That's why I wanted the windows and doors to all be able to open so we can catch a breeze through here. Uh, we do have a little heater that, um, in fact, they were just here today finishing up, getting all of the outlets done and all of that business. but. We will have the ability to take the edge off the cold if we should need to this winter, but yeah, coming right along. The inside actually doesn't look very much different uh, from the last time I showed you in here. I've got lots of stuff to bring out here. Anyway, guys, that is it for this project. I hope you enjoyed seeing those containers come together and we will see you in the next video. Bye.